Welcome to my course on machine learning in R, image classification analysis. This is the first course on Udemy that offers a possibility to learn much wanted skills of R programming for remote sensing based machine learning analysis. Such skills are very valuable for employers and have recently become essential for geospatial special. Then you are going to learn R programming basics in R Studio, or if you are already a skilled user, you will improve your R programming coding skills. We will continue with learning all necessary steps to conduct classification task in any software and how to implement it in R programming language. As well as you will learn how to generate training and validation data in the latest QGIS version. I will introduce you to state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms for image classification analysis. My course contains several hours of video content, many practical apps, and downloadable materials such as scripts, images, and tutorials. In this course, we will cover how to classify satellite images using advanced machine learning classification algorithms such as random forest and support vector machines. My course provides you with the practical skills and step-by-step -step guide and script to implement practical, real-life special advanced classification strategies in R and RStudio. We will start with a general introduction to machine learning concepts and its application to geospatial data. Then you are going to learn R programming basics in RStudio, or if you are already a skilled user, you will improve your R programming coding skills. We will continue with learning all necessary steps to conduct classification task in any software and how to implement it in R programming language. As well as you will learn how to generate training and validation data in the latest QGIS version. I will introduce you to state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms for image classification analysis and you will be able to carry out accuracy assessment in R. So, don't wait and enroll now. The structure of this course is as following. We, after this short introduction, I'm going to, we are going to move to software used in this course where I'm going to introduce to you R, RStudio and QGIS. In this course, we are going to work mainly in R and RStudio and QGIS we will use in several occasions for image visualization as well as we are going to use QGIS to generate training and validation data for our image classification task. This is because uh, QGIS is a well currently a global leader GIS software that is open and could be download, uh, downloaded by anyone. It is free software which has a powerful geovisualization and analytical capabilities and uh, this task of training and validation of um, generation of training and validation data is much easier and more efficient to, to do uh, in QGIS rather than R which is not uh, geospatial uh, software but a statistical software. Then uh, I'm offering to you some overview of the main concepts of machine learning and its applications for classification, image classification with remote sensing images. Then there is uh, two um, sections. The first section on R uh, basics. So this uh, the following section aims to introduce you with uh, programming in R. And there is a section on introduction to image processing for land use land cover analysis with remote sensing data. In case if you are familiar with R programming and uh, you feel that you don't need to uh, go through the basics of R programming as well as you are familiar with uh, remote sensing images and you did classification for example in other softwares like QGIS or uh, ArcGIS, you may uh, skip these two uh, sections. 
Then uh, we will uh, move to the core of this course, basically the classification in R. We will start with uh, the um, uh, basics, with how to load satellite image in R, how to um, do layer stacking and inspection of the images. Then uh, we will move to preparation of training uh, data um, classification, implementation of classification in R using uh, random forest and support vector machine. And finally, how to pre-process validation data and um, in R and how to conduct accuracy assessment in R. This will follow with your independent project. So let's get started. At least.